Hey you guys, it's your girl Chevelle here and welcome back to my channel you guys. So you guys, I just want to say happy holidays. Um, the holiday times is fun, it's exciting and I hope you guys are having a great time during these holidays. Even if you're like completely by yourself. I'm completely by myself, it's me and the dog and I completely still love the holiday times. So you guys, I am going to be putting on this clay mask, you guys, and I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of an update of like, what's been going on like, Chevelle, where have you been at? Um, so, as y'all, as y'all can see, <laughs> um, this is the mask I'm going to be using from Freeman. Um, it is the Feeling Beautiful Anti-Stress Dead Sea Mineral Clay Mask and it instantly clears pores, um, balances and renews skin. 10 minutes mask. So, I got a little brush and I'm going to be brushing it on my face. And if I look this way, you guys, I'm looking at the big mirror right here. I'm actually going to be putting that big mirror behind me. So, yeah, that should be, well, in front of me. So, that should be amazing. So, anyways, you guys, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, let's get into this video. So, you guys, I haven't been on here. Okay, uh, it says clay mask. I wasn't expecting it to be. Why is the container like that? I wasn't expecting it. To be blue. Like, I really wasn't expecting it to be blue. So, you guys. You know what? I'm going to put my phone up. So that way I can see perfectly clear. Or see even better, I should say. You just love your phone this modern day technology that I'm trying to set up my phone as you guys can hear it but anyways so y'all I've been going through this little patch um <laughs> I don't know if people call it like a midlife crisis patch or or whatnot mm, it does feel good on the face though but I don't know if it's the brush with it like it's giving me cool vibes um so yeah i've been going through like a uh a period of like Loneliness, depression, I don't know what it is. It's like, every time I say I'm going to come on camera, I never seem to come on camera. Like I said, you guys, if you guys see me looking away, I am looking at my phone to just make sure, like, I don't have this stuff, like, everywhere. So, yeah. Um... And I just, I just... Y'all, I just really just went through this period where I didn't want to record. Like, I didn't want to record. Um, I really didn't want to get out of bed. I just really wanted to be left alone. And then, like, I met, like, this group of women, and they're, like, so amazing. And, like, they're so motivating. And they give me life, y'all, like. Like, they were just encouraging. Like, they just let me know that just, like, every day is not going to be a bad day. You know, every situation is, like, not going to be terrible. And they kind of just help me, like, to just get o over my funk. Also, I tend to like, um, really like overthink things. Like, like I overthink everything. 
everything. So I kind of had to just um, get out of my, ooh, excuse me, get out of my, uh, get out of my head, like, you know, sometimes you need to just get out of your head. So, yeah. Um... What else have I been doing? I've just, y'all, I've really just been like focused on me. Um, so, one thing with me is like, I like to set a goal for myself. Like, I'm really goal oriented. And I really try to just outdo myself and I came to the realization that you know sometimes you say go for yourself and not not everybody understands your goal like not everybody understands the outcome not everybody understands the goal nobody and nobody else is gonna push you towards your goal other than you like you have to be your sole motivator as far as getting to where you need to go and being on that next level and I'm learning that you know sometimes you know people tell you no because they don't see the potential in you and then when somebody else does see the potential in you that's when you know situations change so um one thing I just realized is that um I don't think I like what I, I do anymore for as far as work goes. Like, I like the company as a whole, but as far as my job goes, I don't like it. Um... I'm trying to stay with the company. Because it is a good company, but I don't know y'all. I want to, I want to advance myself in my career. I want to advance myself. Also, you guys, I haven't posted a picture of the Camaro on here, you guys, but I did uh, recently get a 2020 Mero and I'm loving it. Um, I did get into a car accident. Um, so <laughs> she isn't totaled, but she does have a bump on her. So that's why I call her bump. It's like doing this magic which is just so crazy um so yeah um the car does have a bump on her so i'm working with the insurance company right now to get that resolved um and hopefully like she will be like fixed real soon um an update as far as my family goes i still don't talk to my mom's side of the family i do talk to my mom my dad's side of the family i love them to death like so yeah um, within the next couple of years, I want to get into learning, like, spending more time with my dad's side of the family because, um, being, like, being a kid, I feel, I feel like I was neglected of that opportunity. So now that I'm an adult, I'm going to take full advantage of that opportunity. So shout out to my dad's side of the family because I know y'all be watching my videos too. So yeah. Um, what else? Um. Y'all, I'm going to be trying to grow my hair out for the next two years, you guys. Um, so stick around <laughs> with me on this journey. I would not be cutting my hair for the next two years. So this should be very interesting. This should be very um, different. You know, I've had waves for a while and I've kept a shortcut for a while. But it's time to change it. Also, you guys, if you notice, like I have like this far right here. 
it's kind of like my little ball spot that's going on and I want to be uh, trying to grow my ball spot more okay guys so the struggle of being a vlogger so my face is pretty much dry and as you can see in places like <clears throat> that y'all I have been itching like this stuff has been itching my face so I don't think this stuff is good for me. I don't think this stuff is good for my face. Um, yeah. Um, like I said, it really does itch. <laughs> it was itching right here really bad. It was itching right here really bad. It's itching right around my nose. Really bad right there, as you can see. So let me just wash this off, guys. I am going to... Wash my hair again. Before I wash my face, you know. Okay. I'm waiting for the water to get a little bit warm. Not hot, but warm. Right now it's just okay, getting warm. I hope everybody's doing amazing today. Curls are really popping today. blue stuff in my hair. I don't know what the heck that's about. <sighs> so this is what my face is looking like y'all. And to me, I think it opened up my pores. So, yeah. I normally try like different, different ones to just test them out and see how they're doing. But I normally do this on my face about like every two weeks. Um, I get a really a lot of whiteheads. So, yeah. Also, you guys... If you guys like this video, hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I love you guys. On the road to 2K, hit the subscribe button. Bye, guys. So, this is what my skin looks like after it's been moisturized, y'all. It looks so good. So anyways, if you like this video, hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, and always, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.